Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, Jay Blue 68 coming to you with yet another cool video in celebration of Black History Month. Uh, as I said that I will continue to do. Um, and before I get into this video, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing, and commenting. Please continue to do so and tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Well, I've shown the ladies, uh, ladies first. Now it's time to show the fellas. Oh, of course, I do have more ladies to show uh, before the end of this month. Uh, and this month is actually coming quickly to an end. I'm kind of glad it is. February is not one of my favorite months, and I wish they didn't put Black History Month in February. It's cold out there. There's a lot of snow, and good Lord, just it's, it's uh, kind of horrible conditions outside. Anyway, so we have John Stewart, member of the... Uh, Green Lantern Corps, and in terms of DC Comics, the Green Lantern stories are all, have always been my favorite stories. I love Blackest Day, Bright. So it was the Blackest Night, Brightest Day, uh, the Green Lantern Corps series, uh, which I was collecting the comic books years ago, but uh, then I switched over to Marvel. Um, I'm hoping at some point in time in the future that I can actually get a Green Lantern um, omnibus which features all the Black Lantern uh, uh, stories um, at some point in time in the future. But in any case, this figure is produced by McFarlane Toys, which I highlight a lot on my channel. And by the way, congratulations to Todd McFarlane, who's been nominated for two awards um, in both Canada and United States for having the most or the top sales in terms of toys and action figures. And I, I give my top... I. Uh, uh, tip my hat off to him because McFarland makes sure makes sure that his stuff is shelved and on shelves and not hard to find. Some of his stuff is hard to find, but for the most part, you can go to t to Target or Walmart and find a McFarland uh, a McFarland toys, especially uh, Target and GameStop. Uh, but in any well, any case, let's get to this figure. This is John Stewart, uh, the only known Black Green Lantern in the Black in the uh, in the Green Lantern Corps. Of course, the first and well-known, uh, the first Green Lantern that we know of is, I think it's Kyle Rayner, if I'm saying his name right. Uh, uh, but yeah, I remember first seeing Jon Stewart in the Justice League animated series, and I was like, wow, a black Green Lantern. And uh, I love the character. The best thing about this figure is it's not based off of any actor. And again, I, I tip my hat off to McFarland Toys. They did a beautiful job on this figure. I'm going to kind of turn them around so you can see him. Uh, very handsome. Very handsome uh, uh, face sculpt. <clears throat> and of course, I can say handsome. I mean, it doesn't mean I want the guy or anything like that. But, you know, it's all right for a guy to say another guy's handsome. I mean, whatever, man. But, you know, it's a handsome, it's a handsome figure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, very well uh, the color detail, the paint application, the way it's sculpted. Uh, and this is a pose I put him in. Uh, a fight-ready pose or action-ready pose. I, I just love, I mean, the muscle tone and everything. You know, just well done. The haircut, and I'm going to do a up close and personal of the, uh, a up close uh, of the uh, facial, I should say, of the figure too. And he comes with some kind of, there's a peg in the back here where you can uh, put accessories in. Uh, he they actually, actually came with accessories that I didn't want to put on the figure because to me it kind of depletes and, and covers up the uh, beauty of the figure, of the action figure. And this is actually an action figure, not a statue. So um, made out of plastic. Um, and you can see the ring on the finger. Again, the detail in this thing is, is absolutely Phenomenal. There's, there's a ring if you can see it that gets into focus. I think that's a ring on it. Oh, no, it's that finger. There it is. If you can see that, there is a ring. It's power ring. And you see, look at the face sculpt, man. And again, I love it that it's not based off of any particular actor because no actor has been cast as uh, Jon Stewart yet. Of course, they had to do the First, original Green Lantern first, the right way. We know that uh, Adina did a Green Lantern movie years ago, um, <clears throat> which was absolutely horrible. Uh, and we're waiting to see Green Lantern finally show up 
in a DC movie eventually. You know, but DC's kind of scattered and all over the place. But it looks like they're trying to get their act together. They got a lot of good movies um, that are supposed to be coming out this year, starting with The Batman, of course. And then after that, uh, uh, Black Adam, starring um, The Rock or Dwayne Johnson. But anyway, look at that. Look at that. That's just very well done. Thank you, Todd McFarlane. Thank you, McFarlane Toys, for putting out this very nice action figure. I've had this for quite some time, and I did a video on it, on it previously, but I just did an unboxing. I didn't have him in, in, in any particular pose. So there he goes. John Stewart, the Black Green Lantern for Black History Month. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment as well and tap the notification bell so you get more videos like this as I post them immediately. All right, y'all. Peace, love, and hair grease.